Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll go through an exercise that I often do with my classroom students. It has a series of instructions. What do you want to do? You want to start with a blank site collection. And the company has three departments, sales, production, and support. And they each have their own area. The word area there is left open for discussion. What, what does this requirement mean by an area? What I usually recommend the students do is create a subsite. That's the area here. And in that subsite, they should be able to share documents. And of course, that's a bit of a sneaky one because documents are already there by default in a new team site or a new subsite. And then they need to create apps for sharing appointments, tasks, and photos. So that's something that everybody should know, of course, how to create appointments, tasks, and photos. Then I'm talking about the common navigation. And all these departments should have their own subsite, but they should share the same navigation. So it should be easy to jump between sales and support, for example. And each department should contain three pages, progress, problems, and plans. The goal with that exercise is to get them to use the wiki pages and a wiki link, which I've usually gone through and shown how that's done beforehand. Each department should have its own theme, just, you know, showing where you are with a different color. And then we'll choose a YouTube video and insert it to the first page of the sales department. So that's what we're going to do. So to start with a blank site collection, I will go over to my Office 365 here and jump into the admin UI. At the, at the bottom here, you have a, the SharePoint Admin Center. So I'll go in there. And here I'll create a new site collection. And I just fill in the title and the URL. Company Internet is a good name. And then I'll just use the uh, short va variant of that to make a nice clean URL. And then I'll select the template. I usually start with the team site. And then I select the time zone and assign myself as the administrator of this new site. Resolve this. And then I click OK. And that's going to be created. And that usually takes a few minutes. So to, not to make this video too boring, I'll start with this already existing site instead. And work with that. But there you have it. We have our new blank site collection. So that's that step. So that's done. This company has three departments, sales, production, and support. As I said before, each of those areas should be a subsite. So I'll go into the site contents. And here's a new button. And that has a subsite. And I'll call this sales. And again, I'll do that with capital letters there and uh, lowercase letters there. And again, I'll use the team site. Uh, we don't have to do anything with permissions here, but we do need to change the top link bar. Remember, as departments collaborate a lot over boundaries, the whole internet should share a common navigation. That was one goal. So that's what, why we're doing that change. So I'll create that subsite. And as you see now, our intranet here has two sites in it, the main company site and the sales department site. And they share a common navigation. So I'll have the home site and the sales site. And then I'll continue with setting up the sales site. As I said, they already have the documents that those are already available. So that's done. The appointments, let's do that one next. We'll create a new app for that. And there's two ways of doing that. Add, add an app there, or again, going into site contents and adding an app. And the app for storing appointments is, of course, a calendar. So I'll create a calendar and call that appointments. As you see, it doesn't show up here under the quick launch navigation to the left. So I'll go into settings of the appointments. And I'll go into here, list name, description, and navigation, and say that uh, this should be displayed on the quick launch. While I'm in here, I'll also go into versioning settings and set that to yes. I usually want all my lists to have versioning enabled. So there's my appointments. So that point is done. And there we go. And then we go in tasks, and that's the same thing. I will go to my site contents, create a new app, which will contain my tasks.
And again, I'll go into settings of the tasks and put it in the quick launch navigation. Yes. And I'll enable the versioning for that one too. All right. So that one's done. We're moving ahead. And then it's the photos. The photos, I'll do that from the other way. Add an app for that. <clears throat> that will be in a picture library. So that's a special document library with some special views for photos or pictures. So I'll create that and call that photos. And again, if this starts to get repetitive, that's a good thing because that means that you understand what I'm doing. So that's a good thing. So we'll go into navigation, display this on the quick launch and turn on versioning. There we go. Now we have the ability to share uh, documents, appointment, tasks, and photos. So we're moving ahead rather nice. And this is for the sales department now. So that's one is done. Then each department should have their own three pages. Let's continue with that too. So we'll go to the sales department root site here, root page or the home page, home ASPX. I'll edit that page, remove this get started thing and then I'll create new pages. And wiki pages are a really powerful way of doing things. So I want these three pages. And the first page was, let's go back and see what we said here. Progress, problems, and plans, of course, yes. So progress, problems, and plans. So I uh, will save this now. And as you see, I get these hyperlinked wiki links. And if I click on that, it will create a new wiki page called progress. And I can fill that with information. I'm not going to do that now. I'm just going to save this and go back to the home page of the sales site. Do the same with problems. Create. Save. And then the same thing with my plans. So those three pages have now been created. And what I did to repeat that was just put a name of a page inside the square brackets, something like that. So that's the called the wiki linking. All right. So these pages now have been created under the library site pages, which is a wiki page library. As you see, there are five pages there now. The progress, problems, and plans have been created there. So that part is done for the sales department again. Now, I could do the whole thing again and start over, create a new subsite for the support department and the production department. But in fact, I'll do a bit of a shortcut here. So I will create a template from this. So I will go into the site settings and save this site as a template. Call it department site. And it can be the same file name and the template name. And I'll include the content that is those three pages that I created. And I'll click on OK there. So there we have my new department site uh, saved as a solution in my um, solutions gallery. So I'll go to the home site, which is the company wide one. And now I will create a new sub site for the production site. Same thing, production. And then I'll select a custom template for that and I'll salute, select my department site. And again, I'll use the top link bar from the parent site. Remember, we want the same navigation for this one also. Sales, production, and support. Those are the three sites we want to have. So I'll create this now. So now we have created the production site. So as you see, I have the sales, uh, the home of the sales, the production, and I have these three pages. I have the appointments, tasks, and photos, everything that was included in my template. I'll go back to the home site, that's very important. And then I will create a new subsite. I'll do that under site contents, new subsite. 
support like that. And then I will remember to use the top link bar and I will use the custom templates for the department site. Create. So that's the support site. So this whole section is done, right? Yep, all red, all done. So each department should have its own theme and a YouTube video and the first page of the sales department. Those are the only th two things that remain to be done now. So let's do those. So it's your own theme, it's very easy. You go into the cogwheel and change the look. And then you just change it to another theme. So this might be a good um, theme for the support departments. I'll try it out. Yes, we'll keep that. There we go. So the, the support department certainly does look different, no doubt about that. Production, let's do the same thing there. Change the look. They might have this one. Bit green, try it out. Yes, we'll keep that. And sales, finally. I think you get the idea, I'll skip that one. And just go straight to the video and say that, yes, we're done with its own theme. Explain that twice now. So finally, we'll just do a video on the homepage of the sales department. I do that by inserting a video. I'll use an embed. And then I'll go to YouTube and find a SharePoint video. It could be any video, of course. And uh, let's see. Add a live gra graph to SharePoint. That's a good one. We're going into that video. And we don't have to start playing it now. Pause that. And then we go under Share and Embed. And there we, you get the embed video. You might want to go into the settings here and change some more settings. But this is what we want. We want the embed code there. So I'll copy that. Go back here and paste that embed code right there. And there we insert that and save the page. And there we go. So now we have accomplished everything that we set out to do in this um, exercise. That's our site and our whole company intranet. Of course, you can continue working like this, but this has accomplished everything that we wanted to do in the exercise. Thank you for watching this demo.